So this morning on Fox News, Donald Trump called in and made some pretty wild claims. No shocker. Pretty much anything that comes from Trump regarding health is very challenging to trust because his doctors are wrapped around his tiny orange sausage finger. I passed the highest test, the highest standards. And I'm in great shape. And I have to tell you, I feel fantastically. I really feel good. And I even feel good by the fact that, uh, you know, the word immunity means something. Having, uh, having uh, really a protective glow means something. I think it's very important to have that. Having a protective glow really means something. A protective glow? And once you, uh, once you do recover, you're immune. So now you have a president... Who doesn't have to hide in a basement like his opponent? He's trying to make a case that because he's now immune, so he says, that that will make him a stronger president because he doesn't have to hide in the basement. This was also someone that we didn't see for almost a week because he was hiding, only trickling out little pre-recorded videos. The thing is, there are so many documented cases of people being reinfected with the coronavirus. There's zero evidence of lifetime immunity for this. So the medications you took were standard, pretty much routine. Oh, except for the one that only 10 people in the world have had, and you're one of them. Yeah. We're not getting that at the drugstore. You get Regeneron, we get to die. Trump also really, really pushed this totally fake BS that without him, millions would have died. That number is if we had done zero, nothing, just let... COVID come in and wipe everyone out. Uh, the prediction was 2.2 million people were going to die. It's China's fault. We lost 200,000. There are those that say we did a phenomenal job. With his delayed and pathetic response, 210,000 people died. And he still think that's a good number because it's not the 2.2 million. But if he had done more, if he had communicated the threat that he knew of, as we've heard on the Bob Woodward audio, that number would be a lot lower. If Donald Trump had have acted correctly, he could have actually turned voters towards him. Donald Trump then went on to suggest that Joe Biden might be sick and he's coughing and touching his mask and people should look into that. And speaking about Joe Biden, uh, if you look at Joe, he was coughing yesterday horribly and grabbing his mask as he's coughing and speaking and grabbing his mask and coughing. And I don't know what that was all about. And it didn't get much press because the press doesn't do that. But he was coughing yesterday quite badly, I must tell you. And it was not a good thing to watch. And, and as he's coughing, he's grabbing his mask with his fingers. So you may want to look into that, too. This is a guy with no plan. He just wants to stay in power. And I just want to talk about the debates for a moment and the real reason we're not having one. If there ever is another debate, Biden should insist on a drug test so we can actually see all the crazy shit Trump is on. Because he says he's not on anything now. And none of us believe that. Nobody believes that. But there isn't going to be another debate. And it's not Biden's fault. It's Trump's fault. Trump's the one that backed down from having a debate. Biden said, let's do it virtually. Trump's fine with doing radio shows, dropping F-bombs. Right. And Iran knows that, and they've been put on notice. If you fuck around with us, if you do something bad to us, we are going to do things to you that have never been done before. Calling into Sean Hannity and coughing the whole time, but he won't debate. Oh, and I think the first debate, <clears throat> they... Yeah, Excuse me. Uh, On the first debate, they oscillated the mic. Will you encourage your supporters to get out and vote early? Well, I want them to vote, but I will say this. Absentee is OK <clears throat> because absentee ballots. <clears throat> the reason Trump won't agree to a virtual debate is because he's not confident enough. If Trump's debate with Hillary was a virtual one, he wouldn't have been able to pace around her. He wants to intimidate people because he's a bully. He can't use his brains because he doesn't have any, so he just wants to use his size and his presence. Now, a lot of people will try and say that, oh, the reason he doesn't want to do it is because the Biden camp will cheat. Here's the thing. Here is the thing. Okay, the MAGA people say Biden is dumb and slow. Okay, so let's say Biden is dumb and slow, so he's getting things through an earpiece. Can you imagine talking live on television while getting long-form answers Put in your ear. In order to do that, you would have to be an absolute savant genius. Have you ever tried just repeat after me a long form thing? 
It's very challenging, but you're doing that on television while talking. So you are talking to someone while listening to an answer and you're supposed to orate this massive thing. It's totally unrealistic. Look, as an actor, sometimes we get fed lines and just repeating them is really challenging. But repeating a long form answer in a debate that you've been fed, like you're listening to someone speak here, you're listening in your ear, and then you're processing it and you're gonna say it, come on, it's just stupid. And if you really think Biden could do that, well then he's an absolute genius anyhow. So that kind of cancels out your argument. If the Trump camp was really concerned that Joe Biden was gonna cheat, just have a couple cameras showing the entire room. A feed that anyone can click to or they can cut to to show that there's no prompters and no secret person whispering. Just the end. But Trump doesn't care. He just wants to be there to be a bully and to add on to it because he has a virus. Joe Biden has every right to turn down a debate with someone who has coronavirus and has not been honest in communicating the stages of their infection. So fair play to Biden. Speaking of debates, at the vice presidential debate, Mike Pence uh, retorted to Kamala Harris that you are entitled to your opinion, but not your own facts. Okay, super right-wing, God-worshipping, Bible-thumping Mike Pence, the existence of your sky wizard is really an opinion, not a fact, so please buck off. Also in the news, two-time Olympic rowing champion Alex Gregory revealed his hands after a 12-day rowing boat trip across the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> Oh, oh. Any man that sees these pictures, first thought is definitely, how's he gonna masturbate? Somebody get Alex a flashlight, cause he ain't gonna be beaten off for a long time. Thanks for watching, my name's Tommy Campbell. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Spotify. I'm also a stand-up comedian. I've played for 20 years in 35 countries. I've got three albums there, you can stream them for free. Bottom line, if you're out, please wear a mask. It's not that hard. Be kind to each other and have an awesome day.